Who is this Mickey Truth girl? Who qualifies her to put a work on these people? What's up, what's up, y'all? It's your girl, Mickey Truth, a.k.a. the Queen of Paperwork, and I am back with another video. As always, all information contained in this video is for entertainment educational purposes only. All information used in this video is per the Fair Use Act, and any conclusion that you draw is on you, not me. So let's get it. All right, Truth Team. So after three months, three months, I thought I was tripping at first. I was like, I could have sworn I didn't see nothing. Well, the judge has finally ruled in the motion for mistrial submitted by Kenny Max legal team back in December on the notion of, hey, you removed blogger Mickey Truth out of the courtroom due to the witness on the stand that was whining and crying and threatening to do stuff because he didn't want nobody to say what he was saying. Well, all his words is out now. But anyway, um, the judge said, hey, we're going to de deny that request. So as y'all see here, that order defended Robeson motion for mistrial 406. That was the document number is denied. All right. Now, a lot of y'all may be like, well, we knew it. We knew it. Again, as a defense attorney, you go for whatever you can. You pull any straw out the hat that you can. All right, so it goes through the whole behind the scenes um, as far as what was going on with the case. It goes through everything we already heard again in the motion for mistrial, okay? So the nutshell of the motion that Kenny Matt legal team filed was basically a, it violated his Sixth Amendment right, which is the right to a fair trial, um, a public trial, because I was removed from the courtroom, okay? So according to the judge, okay, in summary, it says the inclusion of Mickey Truth to the extent to even constitute an exclusion was partial in every sense. It was limited. It only affected one day of testimony and one witness testimony. Um, they said they gave me the option to go to the overflow room, which, okay, is true, okay? I just didn't know what type of room they were trying to take me in. And, hey, unlike, okay, some other people involved in this case, I wasn't feeling going up in no room with no police, okay? So, yeah, that is definitely correct. And they also said, like, hey, she only came for a few days. She wasn't here um, every day. She's not a friend or a relative of any other defendant. So, like, her not being able to sit in is not that deep, basically, in a nutshell, right? It also says that, hey, she had the opportunity to return. However, she chose not to, which is true. They did. The government and the defense wanted me to come back. I said, no, 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 no. Yeah, I got me up there with that foolery one time. I ain't coming back, okay? Um, um, they further goes on to say, hey, also, uh, Robeson legal team did not provide any cases where this situation turned out differently on the appeal level. So the judge felt confident enough to say, hey, her ruling is going to stand on that. Also, um, hey, it basically just said try again. <laughs> basically, that's what it comes down to. All right, so if you look here, it does say here, contrary to Robinson's argument, it is not clear that these findings um, will work in their favor. Meaning, again, part of the mistrial was saying, hey, you removing this person or them removing this blogger um, shows that basically the witness can throw a hissy fit. And because they want him to act a certain way, they remove me, right? But the judge is like, hey, this man may act crazy on the stand anyway. She don't see how removing this blogger will do anything besides keep the blogger safe and other people in the courtroom safe because this person, like the officer said in their affidavit, was willing to jump over whoever and do whatever to attack Mickey Truth. Okay. The same blogger he said he doesn't know or care about did all this. And uh, pretty much that's it. And this was just done again a couple days ago. Uh, I want to say on the 13th. Yeah, on the 13th. Okay. So in conclusion, it's a Robinson motion for mistrial is denied. Now, I didn't go over fully the whole document because we have went over it multiple times over here on this channel. But in a nutshell, it basically just summarizes everything we already did. Now, other motions are still in play, including a motion for acquittal. I'll give you an update on that coming soon and more updates on Muwa. Y'all stay tuned.
Hello. Whoa. Girl, Mickey Truth. And as always, donations are welcome to support the channel. Hit the cash out, Mickey Truth 2022. Holla. Uh, Shout out, Truth. Mickey. Mickey, you gonna be big. Like, yeah, I'm trying to conquer the world. Coming from where I come from. They doubted me, but I 